hello everyone welcome back to my channel my dear friends today i am with the problem solving video of the applied physics which is applicable for the all branches over there it is the most important question from the oscillation part over there so question is uh, a free particle is executing shm simple harmonic motion in a straight line with a period of 25 seconds so the period is given let me uh, just first write down the given data over there so period t is equal to 25 seconds over there then 5 seconds after so after the 5 seconds it has crossed the equilibrium point so after 5 seconds it has crossed the uh, equilibrium point over there the velocity is found to be 0 0.7 meter per second so velocity is also given 0 0.7 meter per second it is a very simple problem issue if, if you just ponder on this problem it is very simple to cover over there so a little bit formula is used in this uh, particular question right then calculate the displacement at the end of so you have to calculate displacement so x you have to calculate and uh, after the 10 second at the end of the 10 seconds and also the amplitude of oscillation also you have to calculate amplitude it is denoted by a which is you have to calculate over there after the 10 seconds so after suppose i will take it t1 is equal to 10 seconds over there right then uh, let me calculate this particular amplitude and uh, displacement so which formula we have to use over there as you already know angular frequency angular frequency that is omega omega is equal to 2 pi upon t so t is already given in the question that is period is equal to 25 seconds so which will be equal to 2 pi upon 25 seconds right and as you already know what is the equation for the shm that is x is equal to it is this displacement equation for shm so a sine of omega t but we have to calculate here uh, the amplitude so x is not given and a is not given so two are unknowns how can i calculate so as you already know what is the definition of the velocity it is dx upon dt so different dif uh, differentiate x with respect to t we will get so differentiate above equation with respect to t so uh, this will become a cos of omega t and omega will get out so it will become omega cos of omega t so it is the differentiation of the above part so now you can calculate easily at time at time t is equal to 5 seconds you have to calculate uh, t is equal to 5 seconds and v is equal to 0 0.7 it is given in the question over there right so just put these values in the above equation so 0 0.7 is equal to a is not given we have to calculate omega is given 2 pi upon 25 right then cos of omega omega is given 20, uh, 2 pi upon 25 into t t is also given 5 seconds right if you just calculate uh, this part in the kelsey so you will get the amplitude value approximately 9.06 meters so this is the value of amplitude so one part is over amplitude part is over now you have to calculate the displacement right now you can use easily this equation x is equal to a sine of omega t but this time you have to use t is equal to uh, it is mentioned in the question at the end of the 10 seconds so t value you have to take 10 over here so x is equal to a you have get it over here so 9.06 sine of omega is given 2 pi upon 25 mm -hmm. into t is equal to 10 seconds right so if you just calculate this part it is a very uh, uh, easy part over there to calculate in the kelsey if you have a kelsey over there so x is equal to you will get 5.32 meter over here so this is the x displacement and amplitude so this is the problem three to four steps are there so this is very simple problem to cover over there in this particular subject or uh, in this particular module oscillations so i hope this is understood uh, sustainable to all you people over there so thanks for watching my video